Well, something's fucky here. This is the hose, filler neck. See that? And it's leaking right around here somewhere. It starts leaking every time I turn a corner. And I ordered the replacement. Yeah. Not even close. <sighs> Ever since I bought this Baja, if the gas tank was over half full, whenever I'd turn the car left, it would start to reek of gas. Now, I originally thought it was the molded hose you see here. That's a one-year-only part, and I've had no luck at all finding a direct replacement. Yeah, I could hack up a later setup, but I really wasn't looking forward to doing that. But happily, the problem wasn't that big hose. It was the vent line. So I went over to Low Bugget to get some new vent line. 15 millimeters should be easy, right? <laughs> nope. He had this reinforced half inch stuff that was way too small and because it's steel reinforced, I couldn't stretch it over the nipple at all. So you can see here, it was just a no go at all. And I apologize for the weird camera angles. I need to find an articulating mount for my GoPro that'll work with the magnetic base so you don't get this. So as you can see, I'm really determined to try to make this thing work. That stuff's not cheap, so I wanted to justify it, but I spent too much time and didn't get anywhere. So off I went to O'Reilly's, I think is where I ended up. And the only thing they had that was 15 millimeter was PCV valve line. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but it should at least last long enough for me to get some proper tools or proper hose. You can see here I'm using the crimp clamps like I have before for the fuel line. Those things will never give up until I cut them off and that's what I want for this. I was really worried about that plastic joint with the nipple for the small line to the uh, charcoal canister. That thing's 50 years old and who knows how stable it's gonna be. But it all seemed to come together. And you can see I'm using the crimp clamps there again. Those things are never going to come loose. And these are the razor jaws that I use to cut hose. I've had those for years and years. And they cut through everything that I've thrown at them. Even some steel braided and steel reinforced hoses. So we got the elbow in. It's not as good as a properly molded elbow, of course. But... Again, this is just a vent. We're not anticipating any actual flow through here. Uh, plug the line to the charcoal canister. And we're done. This actually did make a huge difference. Now at some point I will go order the correct molded parts for this. But right now, not really seeing a need for it short term. We'll see how well this holds up over the time. And after the test drive, it went away. No more smell.